so today we've got a curved ceiling with a straight in between and either side of them so first what we want to do is we want to mark and find out where the straight starts becoming the curve uh, give it a little mark on the wall we'll find that out and then once you've cut your tile down to the furthest point then you're just going to make your marks on the lines where you've drew there and in between them two lines where it is the curve i do put two lines in between same as i did with the curved, curved stairs and you're going to get all them marks on your tile either side marking it up against the tile to the side and underneath then again you're just going to connect all your lines up so you end up with like a graph like drawing which is then going to enable you to draw freehand the curve into the tile now you can either use um, tile snips to snip the curve out of it or i'm using a grinder to be fair i lost my tile snips no idea where them bloody things have gone there you go just draw that to reach the intersections once you've grinded it down that should slot into place nicely Then for the one above it, we're going to do the same thing. We cut it down to its furthest point, obviously leaving space for the spacer. And then get the size of the tile, top and bottom. Then again, we're going to work out where the curve starts, give it a little mark. As you can see, I'm just using the straight side of a bit of tile. And again, just draw a couple lines in between, evenly space them out. mark it down on your cut tile yeah, as you're marking making sure you leave space for your spacer we're using two mil on this one Draw it around the front of the tile. Intercept the lines again. And what we want to do is we could just scribe and snap the straight bit from the corner to the first point. And once you've got that, you're just going to draw your line through the remaining crosses you've got on the tile with the curve and take that away for grinding. And moment of truth, see if it just slides in. There you go, perfect. Like I said, using this way, I've, I get pretty much every cut I do perfect every time. Might take a bit of time, but it's well worth it. And there you go, bang on. Happy with that.